Thank you, Alumni Association, for organizing such wonderful program, and I congratulate you all for this awareness program. <clears throat> so, before much uh, introduction, uh, let me just straight uh, jump into the topic. Uh, it's a small, a short presentation on uh, dengue awareness, as we know that uh, this outbreak is ongoing in our district since the uh, beginning of September this year. The one on the left means the Aedes aegypti, which causes the dengue virus. On the middle one is the Culex, which causes JE. And the other one on the right is the female Anopheles mosquito, which causes malaria. And then our point of interest today will be on the far left, that is the Aedes aegypti, which causes dengue virus. It is known in African Swahili as a sudden seizure by a demon. The clinical features is a self-limiting disease uh, transmitted by the Aedes aegypti. And then it remains mainly asymptomatic in most cases. We have three manifestations. The first one is the classical dengue fever. The other one is the dengue hemorrhagic fever. And the last one is the dengue hemorrhagic fever with shock. So mostly it is to, to, to do with the, the urban population, the ever-increasing urban population, and then the expanding of mosquito breeding area due to unreliable water supply, and then traditional water storage practices, and poor garbage management system, and then the ever-changing lifestyle. Altogether, there are four serotypes of dengue known so far. That is the dengue virus one, two, three, and four. Management. Bed risk is advisable during the acute phase. And then use cold sponging to keep the temperature below 39 degrees centigrade. And antibiotics like paracetamol is preferable. Plenty of oral fluid should be given. And along with that food juices also can be given to tackle uh, diarrhea and vomiting. Okay, uh, this is the data we have collected that is including this year for the last six years, since 2017. Uh, we have 46 cases of dengue in the year 2017, and 2018, 335 cases were detected. 2019, seven cases. Uh, 2020 and 21, 20, especially in 2020 because of the pandemic, real cases were reported. 2021, 24 cases. And this year, out of total 147, 138 is from Dimapura alone. That is including uh, the new districts of Dimapura, Jumu, and Newland. So from its ongoing, so the total will be 138 for Dimapura. And then the rest nine are from outside the district. I must uh, thank our alumni association to think about uh, this awareness program and that to conducting in their own college here. Thank you so much for that.